So yeah, we went to Utah. By the end of it, I reflected on why I was so passionate and excited about Utah. I wanted to interview my stepbrother and everyone else really, but I never got a chance until afterwards. Did you ever get inspired randomly just to help someone on the spot like that? I'd say like the whole concept of music is to share it so other people could use it. And so like by sharing processes or samples or any type of tips for making music, then you're helping develop it. By the end of this trip, I was in a rut. I was pissed off at myself. I knew that I was had to pack all of these things into my bag, go back to North Carolina and dwell in my failure that, you know, I brought all this stuff but never used it. I think the gift that I give without really thinking about is just the gift of my time and the gift of presence if you want to like overcomplicate it like that really it's just like spending time with people but that's one thing that some people don't get like I have a few friends who are kind of just literally stuck at home because of either parents or having a bad or a, a poor immune system so they can't do anything but like being able to just be there for people Giving that gift of presence is something that people don't take too seriously, but I think is important. That's deep. <laughs> <laughs> but something came up. At the end of the vacation, I dove into another conversation with Diana. We got into a nice conversation and it snowballed into her confessing to me that she had always been thinking about starting a YouTube channel since she was 14. Okay, what is it, September 20th? You suck. September 19th. You suck. We're going. You suck. You suck. Hey, I'm doing something weird right now. I am vlogging right now. Hey. What up? So, this is a book called Tribes. This will teach you how to be an online leader without becoming a sheep. It's an easy read. Um, that'll help you a lot if you want to keep on uh, thinking about it, but it's a really good book. Um, nice. And I have another surprise for you, because I <laughs> I know, I, I am going to make you cry because I brought some shit that I didn't use but I know in my new headspace that I call this new path, everything has a meaning. So come. No, it's right, it's just in this other room. No water works. Okay, Diana. So, I don't know how to do surprises, so here. Surprise. This is what we're calling my old vlogging setup. I brought all this shit to interview the family, but I didn't use it. My old phone mount. Yes, yes, dude. And lighting. This is, the, this is all you need to get started. This is what I got started with six months ago. You're gonna do it. Dude, I, there's a meaning for all of this. Get that makeup on, girl. <laughs> this is literally, so on YouTube, this is literally what I love doing is help people get started. And this is exactly what they need. A starter kit. That's so cool, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was thank you. If you didn't tell me you were thinking of starting YouTube last night, I would have been like, fuck, like, I have to bring this back. Since I was 14. I totally should. <laughs> I, I was 14 when I started.
I don't try to do this all the time. It's not like I went out there deliberately trying to give away and make a cool moment on camera for the views, the inspiration, the likes. I'm not trying to be inspirational, but I just saw a piece of the puzzle that I wanted to throw away pretty much. And my piece of the puzzle was the gear that I thought I was going to make a film and interview with. But at the end of the day, my failure turned into a success. And I'm super thankful to kind of realize that at the time. And, you know, pull the trigger on a limb, say goodbye to $70 worth of stuff, and try to help somebody else out. Because, truly, I really want to help you guys out and get you, if you are interested, get you on my level. I will be releasing everything I can to be transparent with you guys and make this YouTube process a little bit better, a little bit more fun for all of us. And that's it. We'll see you next week, I guess. <laughs> Love you guys.